I'll be running the Chicago Marathon in October and I'll be doing Kansas City Marathon the weekend after that and then the day after that I'll be running Rock and Roll St. Louis and then I have a Ragnar Trail Relay and a local race at home, the Pleasure Island Bridge, was probably one of my favorite races of the year. I'm trying to make my way to Rock and Roll Vegas kind of slumped because I haven't uh, bought my plane ticket yet so we'll see if that actually happens but yeah I'm excited the end of the year is a lot of travel which I love to do a lot of running which I also love to do so that means I'll be nice and fit and yeah so I'm excited Good morning everyone. Happy Friday. It's Angela from WeBeatFat.com and I am back because I am a bad blogger. This week I really hadn't had that much stuff going on so like I didn't even know what to video. So this is what you're kind of going to get. I'm sorry but I really haven't had anything going on. That I've really been focused on getting organized and getting back on track and planning for the future because Summer's almost over, thank goodness, because it's really hot outside. But I'm really excited for the fall because I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. And I just realized that I haven't really been organized. So I've been working really hard on that. I did get a chance to go run the new path with Willie. And that was kind of interesting. A little scary. But it was interesting. And let's see, what else have I been doing? Hmm... But I'm breaking into my own video because I forgot that I got some really cool stuff this week. So, first off, Hex Performance Power Plus Laundry Detergent. It's supposed to take the stink out of your workout clothes. And, you know, like, because sometimes when you're working out, then you still, like, smell your leftover remnants after... Remnants? I can speak. After you know you work out so this stuff is supposed to remove the stink out of your workout clothes it cleans and removes tough odors typically associated with sweat and bacteria prevents odor between washing and enhances the fabric so i definitely need some of this because i don't know what it's like in your house but workout clothes are washed more in this house than like regular clothes yeah and i also got my ipsy bag this week I've been waiting for it. I don't know why because I really don't really use anything out of it. Um, I am excited because I got some argan oil in here and that stuff is the bomb.com for my hair. But other than that, I don't know that much about makeup. Okay, here, let me change that. I don't know anything about makeup, but I have like these dark things underneath my eyes. And so I'm going to have to start learning because... I don't know anything so I'm gonna take my ipsy bag over to my best friend's house today and she's gonna tell me what all of this stuff is so that's kind of exciting and I ordered some G Fuel I got my G Fuel pack and I just ordered um I keep looking down I just ordered like some small packs so that I could test it out but then a couple of them were busted open and leaking in the package there it is G Fuel so, I had the green apple, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I should have it, like, when I had it, because I had it, and then I went for a run, and then I started, like, gagging, I don't know. Like, that's the only thing different that was happening, was that I had this G feel, feel like, an hour before I went, and so, like, maybe that wasn't the best time to use it, so maybe I'll try it out another time, but hopefully... They'll send me another pack of it because I did pay for it, but it kind of like spilled open. I don't know. We'll see. They were asking me a whole bunch of like weird questions about it. It's like they don't believe me that it was, but whatever. It is what it is. I tried it. I might like it. So I'll let you know. G Fuel is just like a kind of like a pre-workout thing. So I don't know if I need to use that before I run, but I'll let you know. I had green apple, but it was good. But the other flavor I got was the peach mango, so I'm going to give that a try. Okay, so I'm done breaking in, but that is something interesting that happened to me this week. I got some cool stuff, but I'm most excited for this laundry detergent because this stuff is expensive, and I want to see if it actually works, so I'll have to get back to you on that. Bye! Hmm, so it's been really, 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 really,
really rainy this week, which is really odd because it's summer and I don't know. So that's kind of put a damper on my outside activities and we all know that I love to be outside, but it's been raining and I hate driving in the rain. I love it when it rains, but I hate driving in the rain. So I've been kind of sitting around the house, but I have been taking my dog out on dog walks and he's actually starting to like them now starting to get a little doggy chub so I want to make sure that my dog is nice and healthy too so I've been doing that and let's see what else so I've been doing that and that's basically it I've been going to work I've been teaching my spin classes my cycle classes sorry and just doing my own workouts and then coming home and doing absolutely nothing it's been actually kind of nice because I know things are really, really going to ramp up in the future. The one thing that has been on my mind this week is doing a road trip, like a road trip by myself. I'm thinking about driving from Texas to Las Vegas. And I think it would take me something like three days. And I think that it would be a lot of fun and a great adventure for me. And I think it would make me happy. So I'm really looking into it. And of course, my my videos will be along the way and I'll have my blog and I just think that it would be a really really fun opportunity for me and I just need to make sure that the the moolah aspect of it works out but I think that that is something that I'm looking to do in November I don't know I'll let you know how that turns out but as for this weekend I am running the habanero 150k Yes, I am running a 50K in summer in Texas, and it starts at noon. Can you believe that? Noon. So I don't know how long it's going to take me. I don't have any major, major goals except to finish because me and running have gone through a bad, bad break this summer. It's just, you know, he's been yelling at me. I've been yelling at him. We've been bickering. It just hasn't been good. And so the past couple of weeks, it's gotten a little bit better. I think it's because I felt like I was a slave to the plan. And I don't, I love training. I love training. But I don't like feeling that I have to go do this set amount of miles on this day. Or if I don't, then I've, I've blown it. Like, that's just my mindset. And so, like, I understand that training is very, very important. And I never, like like to hear people say, oh, I went out and ran a marathon and I never trained for it or whatever. Like, I don't know. That just doesn't seem right to me. So, like, it is important for me to keep my mileage up and do all that because I know that I am going to be running a lot of marathons starting in October. So, um, I want to, like, get back in the mindset and I thought that the 50K would be something fun. It's going to be all day. It's going to be out in the woods. So I'm going to get to be outside like I want to do. So I think that it will be very, very interesting. And I'm, I know it's going to be hot. So I've like overpacked on everything. And I just don't want to be unprepared. So I just know that it's going to be long. It's going to be hot. It's probably not going to be the best experience of my life until I'm done. And then I'm going to love it. So... <laughs> I'm really, really excited about that. And then my running group friends, they're going to be out there. And I actually haven't seen a lot of them all summer because I haven't been running with them because they run late and I go to sleep early. So everybody's probably going to be like, ooh, Angela's here. What's your name again? But that's okay. That's okay. I'm always around and I'm still running. So I'm very, very excited about that. Hopefully I'll get a lot of nice footage from the weekend to share with you next week. But until then, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment and tell me what you're doing this weekend or if you're training for any races or anything. Like, come on, just leave me a comment. I love the comments. So, like, are you training for anything? What's your ne next big goal? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to train hard. Always believe to achieve your dreams. Dream big, and I'll see you in the next video.